I'm certainly measuring out on the paper that I did yesterday. Yeah. So, yeah. I measured uh, this one and that one. Mm -hmm. and it did. Yeah. So how was it? It's coming out. Oh. After that. Like that? Oh, it'll be still. Wow. Well, yeah. Let us know when it's done. Okay. Well, let's see. Yeah. So why don't you take the measurement? Let's think of what to say here. Let's see. Well, we have this disturbed one here. We really have to be taking that one out because it looks like it was the last one that came in. Um, and we should be able to identify those bones as somebody separate, such as a juvenile. Uh, these other bones should be very clear as to whether it's that individual or not. Uh, so you think of something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then, of course, we're going to take the, the other individual, which is well, 8114. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a big yeah, yeah, although we should probably take do the scattered ones first. And then, oh yes, yes. And of then yeah. take this one. Take the scattered ones out. Um, belonging to that. Oh yes, sorry. Yeah, yeah, of course. Belonging to the yeah. third individual. And then uh, we'll take a digit pan of it. Yeah. Yes, okay. Take the, this one out. Yes, yes, yes. Of, of course, we planned like that. Yeah, yeah. It's set it perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we have to take this one after the scattered ones. Right. Yeah. Because it, it, in fact, this one is, is of, the, of the two articulated ones that we have here, this one going in the east-west direction is probably the latest one. Yes, that's the latest one. So we, we're going to take the scattered ones and then this one. Then that one. And we should be able to see the rest of the one, eight, what's the number? 8114, mm -hmm. lower leg. Okay, remind me of the, the numbers. Right 811. Which one? Uh, the scattered one is 8113. Three. That one's 8114, and this one's 8115? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it, it, we've got the numbers not quite maybe in the um, sequence that we need in terms of where they were laid down, but that's okay. We can, when we're taking the skeletons out, maybe we can take some samples of this mm. black yes. ribs mm. and this yellow stuff here. That might be ochre. Yeah. Um, I'm not quite sure actually, but mm. is it, um, we, we found something like that in the past. So I don't even know if it's analyzed or not, mm -hmm. but it's, it seems interesting. Yeah, and it's interesting also that the blackened ones are only from here to here. It looks like that they yeah. don't that they're not black all the way down. Yeah. Which is that? Yeah. 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 And then of course we've got these baskets to be conserved mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. while they're yeah. digging. So we'll take the scattered, of course, out, and then we'll take this, and that should um, give us a view of the uh, basket farther, and it'll give us a better view of that individual's uh, over on this side um, to see if, in fact, this individual's laying on top of that one, which would indicate very clearly that this is the last one in, as we think. Um, when I was writing my notes, I just thought that um, when they put the second one, this one eight eight one eight four. Eight one one four. I keep forgetting. How, did they disturb the first one, or it well, was just disturbed? Well, you see, this is it, yeah. It's it's interesting to see if yeah. in fact because we had so many disturbed bones over there on top of it, whether that uh, the disturbed one is disturbed once or twice. Yes. So we will find out when we lift this. Um, when we lift that one up, if there are some um, bones underneath mm. belong mm. to. Mm -hmm. The first one. We'll yeah. See. But see, it's in this area right here that we don't actually have. See, you can even see the arm is going underneath this. But is it is it going only underneath the scattered ones, or is it going underneath this one also? You see, I suspect. No, no, no. I, that the, this individual is just up against it and not oh, on yes, top of it. I meant the scattered ones. Mm -hmm. If if you find the eight one one three underneath this mm, individual, right. So we can assume that it, it disturbed twice. That it was disturbed twice. Yes. And if we don't find it underneath it, then so that means that the, the one that was disturbed a, might not have been yeah. disturbed for this one at all. Yeah, so they but had only space for this in one. this pit. Mm. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that.
That's it. <laughs> well, you know, the other thing... Oh, sorry. Should, yeah. No, but uh, when we put all the bones back together, because now, you know, in the process of taking them in, I can't remember all the bones on, top, on it, but it seemed to recall that there were bones, the scattered ones, certainly on top of it. You know, the bones were scattered on top of this individual. Yeah, but it doesn't mean... It um, doesn't mean... It, yeah. No, it doesn't mean that they... Mm. That they disturbed this one. Yes, we have to find yeah. the scattered ones underneath the skull. Mm. Like this one. Yes. Like the disturbed yes. one underneath mm. this one that shows it pretty clearly in terms yeah. of that. Yeah. That's good. Ready? Okay. There aren't scattered ones underneath this one. There are. Aren't. Um, aren't. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I bet there aren't. I don't know. I'm a little concerned there's no legs here, though. I mean, especially something like the tibia, which is, you know, such a huge one. But it might... What else could it be? What else could be happening here? Why we don't get that tibia? I was just thinking, this is also not fused. Mm. Yes. That's the scattered one is mm. like unfused, too. Mm -hmm. I think the scattered one and the... Uh, this one, individual here, but and that one scattered, are about the same, same age. Same age. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So I think they're going to probably end up being about the same age. So, in fact, that would be really interesting. In fact, if we had more tibia that were scattered, then it would tell us something. For example, if this tibia exactly. actually goes over here, it would show us that this was, in fact, disturbed with the burial of this. Yeah. If this tibia belongs over here. That's so, I, think, I think we can only um, do that in the lab, though, because I don't remember how many tibias we have to actually taken out. But if this one actually does go over here, that would certainly give us a good sequence thing in terms of what's happening. See, we don't have the tibia for this one, this individual. Mm. And that bothers me a bit in terms of it's... Which um, one is that? This is on this one. Oh, six. And there's the legs. Here's the head. It's, 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 here's the knee, and it should be going over this way with the tibia. And etc. We don't have that. 647. 647. 647 is lacking the lower limb. Although, and we're, we are certainly assuming that the, the fibula and the feet here go to it because it's in the right position. But it might also be underneath. Mm, true. So that it's been going this way a little bit or. Because the, the we can't the, see the rest of the body anyway. And the lower arm. Mm, right. and the, the, mm -hmm. So they are deep. And what's interesting is that the, this individual here and the scattered one are in fact roughly this, you know, close to the same age. Mm -hmm. So it can be a little bit more confusing in terms of who this belongs to. But if who are the same age? The one that's scattered, scattered? the disturbed oh, one. The scattered. And this oh. one are you know, they both are have unfused bones, etc. So they are probably within a couple of years of each other in terms of their age, mm -hmm. which might make it a, a little difficult in terms of figuring out the tibia part. The rest not, but only the tibia. I, I, I would like to know what happened to those lower legs. <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah. Okay. But again, they could be under. They could be under. Okay, Mira, it's your, all yours. Uh -huh. Is she here? She's here. Oh. Oh. As we were beginning to, to talk about a couple of days ago, uh, we have here several um, skeletons, and um, we know that we have several uh, burial cuts. Now, the, uh, the most important thing for us is to think about how, which skeletons belong to which uh, burial cuts. And um, uh, when we, well, we were not, not entirely clear, it seems to, and now we can discuss that, <laughs> it seems that two of the buried individuals could have been buried in the cuts that we uh, could see on, uh, in the floor of the platform. But then we have a disturbed individual, and we are not sure about the cut for that individual. And, uh, and so, if I just repeat what the cuts were, and then you can, or you can, Ruth can, can show the cuts. We had an early cut, 617, that was in the very west part, 
and this was the uh, high up burial that was uh, from a, the latest phase in the house most likely yeah. buried in this platform and it was uh, above the, 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 the now visible skeleton something like maybe 20 30 centimeters high uh, or approximately so that would probably be like either the e phase or the later d d phase Right. We were talking about this today. Right. That would be the, at least the phase above the phase Probably, in which we have these um, guys. Dealing with this, this floor here. Right. I don't know if you can catch that, that one Jason. Can you? It's yeah. just, it's, which right. itself is a number of plaster floors. So it's somewhere in this series of uh, plasterings. Yeah. This series. And, and that one is the, the one before the last white floor, which right. can be which still seen up there in, as a little skirt in the wall. A little skirt that comes onto the near the red. It's part, that's a, a series of um, floors which is part of this, that this red wall is part of. And if you follow this floor, the E floor of the two, <coughs> not this the one, one below, this one, the upper if you D follow D it all the way to the corner, you can see that there are remains of the paint. So that face was still painted red wall. Yes. And the wall base. Uh, for a later phase, earlier yeah. phases, we are not sure yet. We, we should know once we remove the, the wall. Yeah. So that was that burial. But then these burial cuts we found in the floor level that we call D, which is the one that we are seeing Right. Now. This is possibly, if we had D as having two phases, this would be the lower part of D. Right. Because it's very right. thick, the D is And again, very it's thick. a number of floors. Right. We, we see it almost in two phases. And if I remember well, when you were uh, finding mm -hmm. the lids, Laurie, you were not finding all She's of them. She's trying to the, find them. Exactly. Well, <laughs> my <laughs> roots help. <laughs> Thank you for that clarification. <laughs> you, you didn't find all of them on the same floor mm -hmm. level. You yeah. had to go deeper, yes. somewhat deeper, mm -hmm. to right. see yeah. some of them. Right. right? The one that was so, the one that we came across first was that was easiest to mm -hmm. see was the one that was in the wrong direction. That was the one... This in the wrong direction. In the east-west east, direction. 631. 634. 634, sorry. Sorry, 634. Four. Cal Cal which um, was exactly in line with this mm. Byzantine one. It was which may weird. or may not have any relevance. I think has no relevance. <laughs> I, I think has no relevance, but we can always boggle the mind. And um, that was possible to see around about the top of this lower, this mm, D, right, what, you can what see we're in here. one of these upper parts of these, because this again has many, many different floors. So, um, so we could see the, that. Those are the two phases of D that we are talking about. Right. One, the higher up in which we could see some of the cuts clearly, mm. and then the, the, the other phase would be phase two of D would be uh, the deeper uh, floors in which we mm. managed to finally seek the complete cuts. But you know, in terms of that, what we said that 634 was the first identified, it's not entirely correct. It, we had the, we didn't, never had the edge, the uh, western oh, edge of it. Right. Is it. And then, I, as I recall, it was because 617 had already been cut into the western 617 edge? 617 yeah. had been so cut into it. In fact, okay. it was 617, as we excavated 617, we could see part of, of the 634. Mm -hmm. We could see it in, in the eastern edge mm -hmm. of 617. And there were a lot of scattered bones all the way through those right. levels. And that's, we had a basket, mm -hmm. sort, of, sort, mm -hmm. of, sort of basket, a basket on the edge. Right yeah. 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 And yeah. then later on we were able to identify finally Next 644. Uh, this one, 644. Mm -hmm. And then finally we were able, as we got slightly lower, we were able to identify this middle one. 647, which had actually, 634 had cut it. Cut, cut it. So that we only yes. had the very uh, Can you point northern. to the exact address? And sorry, this is 644. Yeah, four. We were able no, to. 647. Seven, sorry, 647. We were able and, to identify and just. the upper edge that we passed right? The cut. And, 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 and this. Yep. So it went like <clears> this. Okay. All yeah. the way down. So that's 647. So we really only had the northern and, and um, southern, southern parts. parts at seven. Right. Yeah. Okay. Here's the, uh, the northern, northern part. part of 647. And, and so, the southern part. And the southern part was right here. And in the middle of it was 634. So right. that but we recognize 647 by the northern and southern edges. Okay. And then 
644 is the one in which he elects up. Yeah. We actually that's saw that earlier than 647. I think that's yeah. true. <coughs> yeah, that we saw this one yes. earlier. And again, it had then, well, then again, we had the northern and southern edges of it if we had yes, 634 we in between. Right. So if that was the scene earlier, so after 617, which was much earlier, in, in the uh, phase, we could see, first That's of all, 644 as the highest. 636, this one we saw the first. first. Okay, so 634 was first seen, but yes. we didn't have the complete mm. uh, cut, because the, yeah. the eastern part of it was destroyed okay. by the right. later burial, 670. And then the next one that we could see was 644, mm -hmm. that one there. Right. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, right. this one here, 647. That's why the they middle. have the feature numbers in sequence, I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> now, in terms of burying those bodies, it, it, that complicates the matter a little bit. Because <clears throat> if, if our 634 is our uh, scattered bone burial, it, yeah. it's not. No, I think 634 is actually the one that is, in fact, running the in the east. Uh, she was six, saying 644 six, six, might six, be the scattered one. I'm no, sorry. I said 634. Oh, yeah. did you? I said oh, yeah. the the east-west burial. I thought the east-west yeah. burial was the one that we spotted the first. It should be related with the latest one. With the latest one. Which, which is this. We think this is this one. one. Right. Oh, oh, that's why the, the bones are scattered. Yeah. No, they're not, they're no, not no, so no. scattered. They're quite actually in place. This is this one here, which is... Which you would expect if it's the latest. Because he's... Because so wait, 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 okay. Okay. The, 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 the body oh, that is oriented in the east-west direction is the, the, probably the last body, but also the one that is related probably to 634. Okay. okay, so we have the 634 going here. We have a body that actually goes in an east okay. direct, direction okay. and probably conforms to that, that particular one. Right. Okay. Because it is, in fact, going in that east-west direction. The last one. Yeah. And then the body yeah, that is articulated north-south. This one here. Yeah, was buried in in the burial cut six four seven. Exactly. Right. Okay. So where is six four four? Is the problem? And, Wait, where and when was the scattered burial scattered bones? When were they buried? Then? Yeah, yeah. Well, this, this, uh, and what's interesting too is we have the scattered bones above, oh, thinking, yeah. above and below mm. six three four. It's laying on at one of the scattered bones. Mm. Actually, um, maybe the scattered bones were here, and when they opened the, mm -hmm. the this yes, latest they one, it. they just mm -hmm. pushed them away, or right. took them yes. out, mm -hmm. and then yes. put this one right. away, and then just yeah. throw them away. Well, it's interesting, yeah, that is, yeah, we had a lot of scattered bones in here. So that's, that's true. Yeah. But in course of it, in this um, very northern part of 644, we've never had any bones, it mm -hmm. is true. Yeah. Very few bones are put in here, but it's, it's 644 may conform to the, the, to the scattering. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that will become clear once you once we Yeah, that's what we were all talking those. earlier. If we find the uh, scattered bones underneath that mm -hmm. under 647, yes. so that means that it uh, disturbed twice. Right. So um, it would actually be an early, but that would be an early. Yeah, so Just, I my think, theory right. won't be right then. In terms of 644 yeah, being in this one? in terms of 644. I think my theory is that yeah. the, the sequence in which we actually found them at this end, because the, because the floor has been somewhat kind of um, not excavated necessarily stratigraphically, I think it's possible that this one is not the, is not a later burial than that 6444 mm -hmm. okay. is not a later burial than 647 but earlier it's possible mm -hmm. uh, why, just, why are you saying that we didn't excavate this stratigraphic well we did, we did it was just that the floors here in terms of the well, they're dipping the floor, in the middle because the yeah. entire house is dipping in the middle because of the of the midden underneath and that's true and that might be the reason why we found 634 lid at a deeper um, no, we actually, that was found first, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I think we, we did excavate it stratigraphically. Well, we started. did, we, we did, but it was very difficult it, to yeah. tell, am I on the same, am I on the yes. same white floor right now, mm -hmm. all across? Mm -hmm. Because, yeah. Partly because of 63, the disturbance of 634 in the middle, mm -hmm. so that on one side we might have been higher than we were on this mm -hmm. side. So. 
Um, we'd have to go back. Um, I think we have a, a good record of it, and we could go back to see the measurements that we took at the various points when we when we found the list. Mm -hmm. So, okay, if we have, if you look at it in layers, we have uh, one individual buried. We have our scatter buried in a, in a nice position, articulated. Yes. This one that goes like that. Then we have the scattered person buried somehow, we don't know how. And then on top of that we have this individual buried. Well, that's Montier, but it might be the other way around. Maybe and, they... uh, now, now show me in terms of layers, how it would be oh. the other way around, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the scattered one was buried first. At the bottom? At the bottom. Okay. Which then the 644, was it 644? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh, we still don't have a skeleton if we mm -hmm. um, take it's that. Under. It's underneath. Yeah. Yeah. It's underneath. That's what I think and then possibly. the second one, this, um, this person Six, four, seven. Okay. was laid. Okay. And then it reopened again, and then this one was the latest one. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. again, if you. That's, yeah, I, I, yeah. I think that's well, a possibility. Well, we'll find out, I suppose, why, once we excavate. Why would that happen? We, know, we have seen that burial 617, which was above it, was buried, the, pers the, the, the baby was buried without disturbing the other bones. So that would, mean that, it, that would mean that in some instances they go as far as disturbing the bones completely, and in some instances they don't do that at all, but do nice burying. Yes. Why did they have to go so deep? It's also an adult, too, rather than a, a child in a basket. Mm. They need a bigger hole for one, mm. and yeah. maybe in the digging of the bigger hole. Mm -hmm. And also maybe That's these it. three ones, three individuals, were died in the same the same faces or close close, close, close to each yeah. other and that the baby was uh, much, much later, later. Yeah. Right. and they didn't go deep Stay enough deep. to mm. disturb this mm. and also it's small mm. they didn't need to mm. i think something else we we um, need to remember is that that if they're buried in bath if they're all buried in baskets or maybe some are buried in baskets and some are not those which are buried in baskets yeah. may when when they come back down to them May still be relatively movable as a as a whole, you know, as a depending on what, so, how long. Yes, yeah, so that it might not. Some might get more scattered when they come across them than others, mm. you know. So mm. that that's that's something to re well, think, think about because we have this basket down here to remind us that mm. we're dealing. Sometimes well, it does make a difference in terms of the timing of it of how, what they would, you know. If they're seeing it as bones, or they're seeing it yes. as baskets, or yep. seeing it with some flesh yeah, on it, or too. something yeah, like that. Exactly. If they're seeing it as bones, as we expect the scattered one to be, they'll just take it out and then put something it right. back in. It's really like nice to be able to tell how long. Actually, that mm -hmm. basket that we see doesn't seem to have anything to do with these skeletons that we see. It could be yet another burial in the basket. It's possible. It's a small child. Yeah, but it, they actually could continue over in terms of here. It could be yeah. the very edge of it. Since it is so close to this one, it's possible that it is, in fact, related to this individual, to, to this one here. Well, it, the, the earlier ba burials in the baskets here, Chateau Huyu, are all different. You have nicely, uh, you have the legs in the basket. You remember the adult burial? Mm. You, you, nice, you see nicely legs in the basket, or that child. We see that the majority of the skeleton was covered with basket. And this is on the side. That's why. Mm -hmm. And under. Basket. It's on the side and, and under. under. So I think yeah. maybe that, that's related to something deeper, mm. deeper mm. burial. So should we ask them now what their strategy of going to be doing? How, how are you going to deal yeah, with this mess? A bit we can oh, you did already? Yeah, okay, yeah. so we don't need to. Again. I think we've already talked about it. Yes. Okay, yes. Yeah. so we don't. Sorry, go back. You'll need to go back on the video at this point to see the discussion <laughs> on what they're going to do with it. We'll take the scattered bones first. <laughs> we'll take the scattered bones first and then uh, take a, a digiplan picture of the two articulated ones, then take out this, uh, this one here, uh, and finish the excavation around that one. What we want to see is if this individual over here has this individual on top of it, or and the, the disturbed bones, the scattered bones underneath so it, or only on top. Wait, wait. Can I ask how you know which are scattered and which are not for yeah. the lay person? Yeah. Because the ones that are um, in anatomical position that mm -hmm. are articulated are the ones that obviously go to a you know, single individual. And then when you get these extra ones that are in out of anatomical mm. position and are um, you know, not re seemingly related to a particular body are the scattered ones. Uh -huh. 
so it's you have to be interpreting all the time well, what yeah. the bone is. Well, yeah, yeah, you have to be able to see yeah. if the bones are in anatomical position or not. <laughs> this humor is actually is, um, upside down. So if you mm -hmm. if you think the person should be like this, <laughs> the, the shoulder for this person yeah. should be right yeah. here. Yeah. As you see here, we have yeah. a shoulder with the, the yes. whole you know area here. This is the two shoulders right here, mm -hmm. and all the vertebrae and everything all articulated. What kind of sampling are you planning to do as you're removing the bones? DNA? DNA? Oh, that's what she's trying to do. Yeah. Okay, uh, which, that's what one of the ones. What are you going to sample Cheat. for DNA? Can you show us yeah. roughly? No, yeah. because it's underneath the skull. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This individual yeah, has a skull here, and underneath it uh, is the maxilla and the mandible that are holding the teeth. And so what we'll do is, um, before we uh, pull that one up, we want to uh, uh, put gloves and mm. on and... and uh, take a sample of one of the teeth before we hand alert or get any sort of exposure of it, right. take it right away, put it into a, a sterile plastic bag and um, take it we down. We also thought that it, m it might be a good idea to take some samples from this blackness in the rib cage. Um, and also there's a like, yellow stuff here. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Jason, if you can see yeah. it. Yeah. We have the yellow here so, and here. Yeah. yeah. So it, those can be interesting stuff. It's, it it seems like... Organic. It feels like um, okay. Oh, I'm not quite sure. Actually, in the south we find something like that, mm -hmm. um, and in the right, in the pelvic area, mm -hmm. and we thought it might be coprolite, mm -hmm. but we never get the result. So I don't want to say it, it's yeah. coprolite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it feels like okra. It's um, smooth and greasy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what to do. Our residue guy here, maybe you'll be able to help. Yeah, that system. will be great. Yes. Yeah. We should, should surely, that should surely get on the plan. Uh, I don't mm. know how, if it is visible on that plan. Is that the printout? It's a printout, but you know, okay. it's such a horrible plan. It's but it's important, out. especially because yeah. it's in the pelvic area. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, we did take some close-ups of it, for sure. Mm. Yeah. Certainly we did. It could, be some, it could be also the preparation of the body before the burial, you know, along the lines of mummification mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Not that they did mummification, but a kind of preservation, kind of, preservation of maybe if that yeah. part of the body was especially well, important. Uh, it could be just... Yeah. Well, given that we have the yellow up in here also, it'd be interesting to see if this is the same as this. You yes. know, in terms of it, if it is uh, whatever that is and why these are all blackened. All of this is all blackened in here. So they are unusually black. Yes. No. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> compared to the other one. Compared to the other one, but we we found this blackness in the past in some of the individuals. Mm -hmm. So Peter Andrews interprets that as um, it's coming from smoke, and these are elderly people and can't go out so often, so they stay in the house all the time with the smoke, and the smoke mm, accumulates lung. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's actually, it's a, it was a sweet stuff, but um, unfortunately, um, we don't have that much, that, that much here. It's just a black and thick. But in the other samples, we had really, um, we could take quite a bit sample. Oh, really? So no, that was interesting. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. So it should, when you, if this is soot, once you, uh, you wash the bones, it should still stay on the bone, right? The soot. No, it so goes. It goes away. So we, we don't want oh. to so it. So would actually then you're saying would be about from the lungs themselves? Yeah, the yes, soot. But so gets on the bones so as well. It's a soft tissue thing. That yes, is, um, which doesn't, which doesn't um, did it go away once right. the lungs go away. And yeah. because oh. the soft tissue is, <laughs> is decomposing, it's putting it yeah. onto the, the bones, even though it's not really a bony manifestation of it. Uh -huh. And okay. the same would go for the coprolite stuff then? That this was originally inside them, and then well, yeah, well, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> so can we take a sample of a brain tissue? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> if we had brain there, we have no brain. We oh, have Mallard your... found a brain. Did he? Did he yeah. claim that? Yes, he claimed really? that. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. 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 Huh. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Just one more okay. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great, so do we have, he's going to run out of tape any seconds. Mm -hmm. Do we have anything else? I think probably not. I think that um, once you take the scattered bones away, maybe we'll have another look yeah. at it. We'll have another look. I think there's two times that we need to look at it. One is once we get the scattered ones away, and once we take this one, and we can determine that whole um, side of the body that we can actually see yes. on that one. That'll give us, I think, a better idea of the sequence. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. I think we've done okay.
Thank which you. you need? Did you have tape left? Yes, there's about five minutes. Okay. Oh, oh my God! Oh, come on! Oh, it's 